Hi there you, my bidding friends. As I promised, today I'm going to show you the Princess Super Duo earrings that are a match to the bracelet that you could see here at the eye icon. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself, especially if you have done the bracelet, nothing will stop you. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I'm making matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. I will expect your pictures on, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. By the way, if you don't want to listen to this intro every time and you are not a newcomer, you could skip it and go directly to the work itself because now I have timestamps in description and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check the bracelet that I mentioned. You will see it in the eye icon and down there in description. You could also check my whole play with, with super dual beats. And now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are HO beads in silver color, super dual beads or you could use twin beads in blue color and here I'm also using 11 seed beads. These are earring findings, jump rings and these are two teardrop crystals that are not obligatory but I really like the effect of using them. Here I'm using monofilament, this is size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 as well. This, these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my earring findings. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do here is take one ato. okay. I'll slide it down and here I will leave a small tail because later I will put my needle on it and I will finish my work. Okay, so now I'm going back in circle with my needle like this, making here a loop. And then I will go one more time just to be sure it's fixed here. I'm not making any knots because later I want to take out this bead. This is only the stopper bead. Okay, so now I'm taking two of these beautiful super dues and I'm taking one A2, then again to super dues and one A2, and then again to super dues and one A2 and two super dose okay and slide all of those beads down you see i have four pairs of super dose divided with this beautiful atos okay this is what i want to have now i will pull them to my stopper bead and what i want to do here you see where i'm exiting i'm exiting out of this super dose I want to go through its other empty hole, zigzagging through it. Okay. So as I'm exiting from here, I'm going through the same bit, but through its empty hole. And now I'm going to take one A2. You see how they are arranged. And I'm going through the next empty hole of my next A2. Okay. Then I'll turn those in this direction because they want to go in the other direction. And I will go through this one without adding anything. And when I pull, you see what I have. This beautiful zigzag effect. Then I'm going to take one A2. And I will go through this one and through the next. Just to save time, I'm going also 
through the next and when I pull you see they are next to each other zigzagging and I'm taking one a two turning those around like this and then I go here through these two and I pull and now I'm going to take just one and go here now I have this and what I do next is that I go in this direction through all of those beads because I want to reinforce this row here that I did and make it stay nice and tight Okay, and now I will do my next row. And for it, I want to go through this A2, but also through these two super dos, just like this. Then I take two of them, like this. And as I'm exiting here, you see where my thread is. I'm going back in circle through those two, adding the next two. If you watched my bracelet tutorial, and if you have done it, uh, it will be easy for you. Okay, then what I need to do is go through my next two super dos, and I'm going to take two more, and I'm going back like this. Okay, then I go here through the next and repeat. Okay, and I have this. Now I will decrease my work. That is why here I'm not adding one bead like I did when I was doing the bracelet okay but I'm going here you see where my thread is exiting out of this empty hole of this bead and I'm going to take one a two go here and through the following two okay and here I will continue the same way adding two more a twos Now, what I want to do is go here through these two beads. Then I will go through this one here. I'm doing this, guys, because I want to... Oh, oops, I went through the eight toe. Because I want to exit here at these two beads and here I will add two and two and I will continue decreasing my work. Okay, I'm taking two. I'm going back in circle. I'm zigzagging like this. Okay, and then I'm going to add two super dos. And I will go here because I want to reposition my thread. You see, I'm repositioning because I want to go uh, in my next step exit here in this direction. Okay, I take one, go here, 
I take one and go here. Then I'm repositioning, guys, because what I want to do is exit here out of these two bits. Then I take two. And this will be my last step. I go here and I take one eight-o. Okay. Okay guys, and here I am in a position to add my crystal here my teardrop crystal. If you don't want to add it, skip this part and go to the part where I'm coming back and finishing the earring. Okay, so now I'm going to show you anyways how I'm adding it. Okay, I take four. I go through the crystal. I slide it down. Then I take three. I slide those down as well. Then what I do guys is that I skip those three beads, I go directly through the crystal and through the next three beads. And then again take one and I go here through this. And now I have this and what I want to do guys is reach this part here. How am I going to reach it? I'm just zigzagging through my work the way my thread doesn't show. Okay, and what I want to do is exit here, guys, at this point. Where I could add two beads because I'm going to make this decrease. Okay, I take two and I go back through these two. And I will repeat it in my next step. I'm exiting here, guys. I'm taking two. And I go back. And then what I do is an additional step. I'm going through this 8-0. And I'm going to add here one bead. Sliding it down like this and now I'm going through its empty hole and through the other one that's here. So I'm zigzagging through it like I did before. So you see what I have. Zigzag effect and pull. Then I take one and I go through the next two. One more. And here I also take one. And I want to zigzag through it. Okay, I'm exiting here through one of its holes. And then I'm going through the other and through the next bit. You see? So when I pull, I have this. Okay, and I'm exiting out of this A toe. And what I want to do is go here.
and exit in the center of my work and I'm going to take two like this going like this then here take one then here and here and I'm going to take one ato okay and then I'm adding this one here I go through here then through its empty hole and then through the a toe one more time I'm adding it the same way zigzagging through it going through one of the holes and then through the other hole okay and then here at the top guys I need to add two seed beads two uh, super dual beads sorry and I'm going to add them the same way I showed you first as i'm exiting through this a2 i'm taking one of them and i'm sliding it down like this then i'm going through its other empty hole zigzagging okay like this and like this take one slide it down and then through the other and here through this a2 and then here and then through these two and here at the end what i want to do is add one a2 where I will attach my earring finding okay sliding it down going back in circle through these two and I will repeat this okay repeat it several times you could do two or three times whatever you think is the most secure okay so now you could uh, finish it like this but i would like to add an edge of seed beads here and how i'm doing it i'm going here through this a2 then back through this hole of my next super do not this top hole but this one okay guys and now i will take my needle from here and i will go here at this bead i want to remove it and make a knot and cut this tail thread here okay here i will put my needle at this side and what i want to do is go here in this direction i'm going to make a knot and cut my thread okay first i make a loop and i go once then I go second time through this loop I've made, I pull, then I could repeat this knot several times. When I'm ready, I go through the following seed bead and I cut it. Okay. Now, guys, I will put my needle at this end and I will continue okay i have my needle here and what i need to do is take three seed beads 
This is again not obligatory step, but I like to do it. Okay, and I'm going here through these beads. Then what I want to do is reposition it to exit here of the next hole of this uh, bit that I'm exiting out of is super do and I take three go here like this again I'm repositioning oops I made a loop here okay now I have this and then again three and go here now I have this beautiful edge and what I want to do guys is exit here out of this hole Okay, and now I'm doing the same thing, adding three beads. Zigzagging through my beads to reposition my thread. Then again, three. And I'm adding the last three. And I'm making my knot and I'm cutting my thread like I showed you before at this edge. And then I'll be back. Okay, and now my earring is almost ready. And what I need to do next is take my jump ring, then open it up and I will put it here at this seed bit. Then I will take my earring finding and I'm squeezing back. And now guys, I have this, my earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my Princess Super Duo earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I did a bracelet matching these earrings that you could see here at the eye icon and probably I will make a ring. Uh, to have a full set that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me